hello friends welcome back to the tutorials in this tutorial we will study about full subtractor full subtractor is a combinational circuit that subtracts two bits taking into account of borrow by a lower significant stage now it has three input variables and two output variables Input variables denoted by X and Y represents the bit to be subtracted. Z represents the previous borrow or borrow by a lower significant stage. Now suppose look at this case. Suppose there are two decimal numbers 32 and 15. We have to subtract 15 from 32. So first of all we will subtract the digits at unit place. right? Now here 2 is less than 5. Then what will we do? We will borrow 1 from higher significant digit. right? So here we have borrowed 1. So it would become 12. right? Now subtract 5 from 12 the result would be 7 now here right it is 3 first of all we have to subtract 1 from it that is what we have borrowed in previous stage right here we have borrowed 1 so we have to subtract 1 from 3 then we have to subtract 1 right so it means we have to subtract 1 and 1 from 3 and its result would be 1 so in this case here we have to subtract y from x now z denotes uh, the borrow by a lower significant stage right if it's equals to 1 then we will have to subtract z also from x right so what the full subtractor will do it will subtract y and z from x right when z equals to 0 then this expression will reduce to x minus y right if there is uh, no borrow by a lower significant stage then full subtractor will subtract y from x right output variable B represents the borrow from higher significant stage. If it is 1, then it means we have borrowed 1 from higher significant stage. And output variable D represents the difference bit. When the value of x is greater than equal to y plus z, then the value of b equals to 0. Because if the value of x is greater than or equal to the value of y plus z, then we don't need to borrow from higher significant stage. But if value of x is less than y plus z, then we need to borrow one from higher significant stage. In that case, value of B equals to one. This is the truth table for full subtractor, which defines the relationship between input variables x, y, z, 
and output variables b and d now what the full subtractor does it evaluates this expression it means it subtracts y and z that is y plus z from x when x equals to 0 and uh, y plus z is 0 we know that 0 minus 0 equals to 0 so d equals to 0 we have not borrowed anything from higher significant states so the value of b is also 0 but when x equals to 0 and y plus z equals to 1 then we know that value of x is smaller than y plus z we need to borrow 1 from higher significant states so the value of b equals to 1 when we borrow 1 x will be increased by the value 2 right so its value is 0 here when we borrow 1 it will become 2 and when we subtract 1 from 2 the result would be 1 so the value of d is 1 when x equals to 0 and y plus z equals to 1 0 that is a binary number whose decimal value is 2 now 0 minus 1 0 here x is less than y plus z we need to borrow 1 from higher significant stage so the value of b is 1 when we borrow 1 2 will be added to the value of x here the value of x is 0 so the value of x will become 2 right so 2 minus 2 because the decimal value of 1 0 is 2 so 2 minus 2 equals to 0 so value of d is 0 now when x equals to 1 and y plus z equals to 0 then 1 minus 0 equals to 1 here we have not borrowed anything from higher significant stage so b equals to 0 and d equals to 1 when x equals to 1 and y plus z equals to 1 then 1 minus 1 equals to 0 so b equals to 0 and d equals to 0 when x equals to 1 and y plus z equals to 1 0 then 1 minus 1 0 here x is smaller than y plus z we need to borrow 1 from high significant stage so the value of b is 1 here the current value of x is 1 when we borrow 1 from high significant stage then it would become 3 and 3 minus 2 equals to 1 now look at here 1 0 is a binary number whose decimal value is 2 so 3 minus 2 is 1 so the value of d is 1 now look at here here the value of y plus z is 1 and value of x equals to 0 so the value of b is 1 and d is also 1 right now we have to obtain the boolean functions for output variables p and d to find the boolean functions for these two output variables first of all we need to check for what combinations of values of input variables x y and z their value is 1 first of all we will obtain a boolean function for output variable d now the rows which are marked by rat right in these rows which are marked by rat value of d is 1 right in this row d is 1 so the main term corresponding to this combination of input variable values is x0 y0 z main term for this combination of values of x y and z is 
x naught y z naught mean term for this combination of values of input variables is x y naught z naught and mean term for this combination of values of x y and z is x and y and z so the boolean function d would be equal to the sum of these four min terms that is x naught y naught z plus x naught y z naught plus x y naught z naught plus x y z now we have to obtain a boolean function for the output variable b now check in which rows of the truth table the value of b is 1 right these uh, rows which are marked by black right in these rows which are marked by black the value of b is 1 now in this row value of b is 1 so the min term corresponding to this combination of values of input variables is x naught y naught z in this row also value of b is 1 so the min term corresponding to this combination of values of input variables is x naught y z naught in this row also value of b is 1 so min term corresponding to this combination of values of input variable is x naught y z in this row also value of b is 1 so min term corresponding to this combination of value of x y and z is x y z so the boolean function b will be the sum of these four min terms x naught y naught z plus x naught y z naught plus x naught y z plus x y z now we have to simplify this boolean function b by k map so we have drawn a k map for three binary variables x y and z now b is the sum of these four min terms now mark the squares whose min terms are included in the boolean function b by number one right so those squares whose min terms are included in this function b are marked by number one right so these four squares have been marked by one now make the group of adjacent squares here three groups are formed of adjacent square now check for common binary variables in a group now in this group binary variable x naught and z are common in all squares this group has two squares right in these two squares variable x naught and z are common so the term x naught z will be included in the function p in this group y z are common right in this group there are two squares and the variable y z are common in both squares so the term y z will also be included in the function p in this group which is of two squares has two common variables x naught and y so in both squares of this group x naught and y are common so x naught and y will also be a term in boolean function p so the simplified boolean function b is equals to x naught y plus x naught z plus y z so full adder can be described by these two boolean functions d and p thank you very much